I'd now like to introduce my good and respected friend, Dr. Art Markman, who has been on the show several times in the past. Uh, Dr. Markman has published over 150 scientific papers, developed training programs for billion dollar companies, is a professor of psychology and marketing at the University of Texas. Uh, <laughs> And uh, thankfully, he is also a member of the Dr. Phil Advisory Board here. Uh, his latest book is Bringing Your Brain to Work, which talks about the three phases of the job life cycle, how to communicate with the people around you, and how a lot of people suffer from something called imposter syndrome. So welcome, Dr. Markman. So glad you're here. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. This. Um, very well done, by the way, Thank you. and really very interesting. What are the three important mental systems that are crucial for success at work? Let's just start there. So uh, if you think about it, you have to be motivated to the work you're doing. And so your motivational brain kicks in. You have a social brain that's part of this as well, which is how you get along with the people that you're dealing with in the workplace. And then you have what we can call the cognitive brain, which is all of the, the knowledge and skills that you're bringing to bear. And you really need to optimize all three of those for success. Right. And l let's talk about the motivational brain. You have a, a set of mechanisms that, that engage goals that you have, and most of those systems actually drive you back to doing what's comfortable for you, driving to do uh, the habits that you've created, which is why you can start a job and then look up 10 years later and realize that even though there were other things you wanted for yourself, you just got up each day and continued to do the same thing which means it's really important to, uh, on about a yearly basis, to take a step back and ask yourself, how am I doing? Am I happy with where I'm going? Does the work that I'm doing fit my values? Something that can be really useful is uh, we know that older people, people in their, in their 70s, 80s, and 90s, when you ask them what do they regret, it's almost always the things they didn't do in their life right. rather than the things that they did. Right. And we all have a remarkable mm -hmm. cognitive capacity for time travel. You can pretend that you're 70, 80, or 90 and ask yourself, what will I regret not having done? And then fix it before it's too late. Yeah, that's a good question. What will I regret having not done?